guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we're going to do a little something different today. I kind of look like a mess because it's the end of the day and I just put the kids down to sleep and I just want to kind of go over with you guys what we're going to do this month instead of um, a normal grocery haul. So, in the month of December, we do something a little bit different. So, all throughout the months, so January through November, I make our weekly or our monthly um, meal plan and I make our everything we need for that month on a grocery list and then I go get it. I don't come to the pantry and look and see if we have something in there and mark it off. I don't go to the freezer. I don't go to the fridge. Like I get everything we need for that month no matter what. And what that does is that gives us a huge stockpile for the uh, month of December. And in December, we don't go grocery shopping. We budget ourselves $50 for fresh produce and milk and stuff, and that is it. The rest of it goes towards paying off debts or Christmas or in savings or something like that. So I'm going to show you guys what we got, and this is, it is now January, so I'm going to go do our January grocery shopping soon, but this is what we had after the month of um, December is over, and we've kind of explenished our stockpile, but this is what we still have. So, I'm going to show you guys what is in our pantry, and I'll tell you guys what's in our freezer, because I don't feel like going out there, because it's really cold, and I'll show you guys what's in our fridge, and then I'll just show you guys what is in there. So, this is our pantry. So, this is the top shelf of the pantry. We have cereal and there's some like stock syrups and baking stuff and there's like a huge thing of hot sauce back there and more like saucy dips and this is all dry cereal and then we have more baking goods and stuff like that and dry cereal we have a lot of because we have that as a snack we don't eat that for breakfast and this is all mac and cheese back there lots and lots of mac and cheese and this is all tomato soup. If you're wondering what's on my hand, it was a pen. I couldn't get it to work. This is all SpaghettiOs. Lots and lots of SpaghettiOs and canned goods. And then this is um, Car's Chicken Oda Soup. That was on sale really good. Back here we have um, the muffin mixes. And a quick tip. We make these and I, I make these and I freeze them for the kids' breakfast. But I put a can or two of baby food vegetables in the mix and they can't tell the difference usually carrots and then this is like the ravioli and stuff that goes actually there chicken and rice chick more chicken and stars this is bacon and stuff and these are the north sides i'll be getting a lot of these this month peanuts because that's what mike likes to snack on this whole thing right here is nothing but diced tomatoes and then we have more of these things the kids must have got into them this is all vegetables so peas green beans carrots this is broccoli and cheddar soup um and then these like little microwavable soups that mike takes for lunch if there's not a lot of leftovers cream of mushroom soup chicken noodle soup which is actually supposed to be up here cream of chicken soup this is the dentine more a spam some tuna down here we have lots and lots of jello and pudding. Really good for desserts. And we have ramen, because everybody likes ramen. Coating, mac and cheese, a whole big thing of elbow noodles. And this is just rainbow noodles. And then a whole thing of angel hair. And then lots of spaghetti sauce. There's more down there. Alfredo sauce, like I said, spaghetti sauce and V8 juice. We don't drink that V8 juice. What I actually do is put it in soups and stuff that are tomato basey to get extra vegetables. Corn syrup, there's some pineapple, chili tomatoes and chili beans, apple juice, lots of applesauce. You come over here and we got have a very large box of little fish. And then this is another huge box of 300 packs of the pretzel goldfish. And then we have more V8 juice, those Ingle cans. That's a whole skid palette, I don't know what you call it, of chicken noodle soup. V8 slashes, Mike's almost out of those. Another V8 juice. Now those we actually do drink and take with us because they're closable bottles. I just don't like the cans laying around. 
This is where we keep our potatoes and onions. And then we got chicken, broth, and a huge thing of salsa. That's what we have in our pantry right now. So um, I'll be shopping in two or three days. Um, and I'll be replenishing a lot of stuff that we need in here. We just like to have lots and lots of canned goods and stuff on hand because we like to be prepared for anything because we live in Ohio. And it can snow, flood, and get a heat wave all in the same day. So weather is crazy and we don't know if the roads are going to be closed or anything like that, especially in the winter months. So we just like to have lots and lots of canned goods. And we like to know that if anything apocalyptic did happen that we could rely on ourselves and not have to rely on other people. So that's why we stock a lot of food. And just keep in mind that I do this all for $350 or less a month. I don't have a separate food stock budget. It's all in my food budget for the whole month. Fridge. We have white box, pink box. Those are the snacks. So if I say kids can have a snack out of the white box, it's usually goldfish or pretzels. And if the kids can have a snack out of the pink box, it's the junky ones. So it's fruit snacks, granola bars, Nutella, stuff like that. And there's more cereal because we love cereal. <laughs> and in here we have homemade cookie dough. I just reused that bottle. There's, this is I think juice spaghetti I froze. Some freezer breakfast. So this is a freezer breakfast, freezer breakfast. Tortillas that were on sale. So I bought them in bulk and froze them. This is cake balls that are frozen. Back there is some fruit and some more breakfast. Some hash rounds. More breakfast. I will do a video on freezer breakfast because the kids are very self-efficient in the morning. So I'll do a whole video on that later. Then we got some tortilla, butter, nacho cheese. Back there is just an open can of salsa. Or not open can of salsa. Open can of spaghetti sauce. And then eggs, salsa, leftovers, carrots, milk, apple juice. Down there is like kale, that's about it. Then in the door there's a zucchini bread, some strawberries that we're going to go back so I froze them, put them in smoothies later, noodles, green beans, and then all of our salsas. For our fridge and our fridge freezer, we do have a deep freezer in the garage and it has, it's filled to the top with meat. I think we have about 15 pounds of hamburger and there's like three meals of chicken in there a whole chicken ribs chicken legs there's a couple frozen meals that i've had leftovers of and pizzas we keep that pretty stocked um i do need to get a new system for freezer inventory which i'm kind of working on that now so if you have any suggestions on how you keep your freezer inventory like somewhere where you can see it all the time i'd really appreciate that so let me know in the comments um but yeah, other than that, that's our, that is our food stock. That's what we keep around all the time. That's what we got accumulated throughout the year. And like I said, I do all that and feed our family for the whole month for under $350 a month. So if I can do it, you can do it. So if you guys have any questions on the deals I find or how we get so much or anything like that, please let me know. And I would really appreciate if you guys liked and subscribe. So. Have a great day. Bye.